Hello super deformed car collectors and coffee drink lovers. So I was looking in one of my local stores and these were just in the bin. They were really cheap so I bought as many as I could and unfortunately it's not enough. It turns out there's a 10 set collection here and these are these come on the top of a can of Wanda Coffee Gold I think in Japan. So if you buy one of their canned coffees you get a free car. And uh, I was mostly attracted to the PT Cruiser because I used to actually own this in silver, like a real one. But anyway, so I thought I'd just buy these and I was thinking maybe repainting them, but I'm not sure if paint's going to stick to these, so I might not even bother doing that. On the bottom of these things, they do say Wanda, and uh, sadly they don't actually say what the car is. Maybe they're just sharing the base amongst all the cars. It would have been nice maybe just to have a sticker. Uh, internet though is telling me I think this is a 1955 Chrysler 300. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's uh, what it found online. And so let's see, we have these like disc hubcap wheels, just all gold out, golded out, and yeah, but the whole thing is gold, uh, obviously. So there's no need to talk about the color again. But you got nice grill T deals here, the headlights, everything's molded nicely. I, I kind of wish they just put this out in normal colors. Maybe they plan to do that in the future. It actually looks like it was painted silver, chromed first, but... I mean, all the recesses are there to... to if you did want to paint this, you probably could, but... Too kind of time-consuming for me to do it. But anyways, the deformation is pretty nice. I like it. They're really low, they're wide. They're not really tall though. And then this is the spring motor in the bottom of this thing. So these things will zip along at a pretty decent fit pace. Alright, so that is that one. Let's do the PT Cruiser. That's what we used to have one. Oh, well, that's interesting. The motor's a different color in here. It's not the same color. This one's white. Are the tires the same? Yeah, the tires are the same. Now, you'll see this one does have more modern wheels, although these never came on a PT Cruiser, to my recollection. Uh, I could be wrong, though. You can see this, the the rubber, though, where it molded, it, they met each other, and it's not looking very nice. But, oh, another thing, these Wanda things, the tires don't come off like Choro Qs. I literally think the tires are glued onto the wheels. So, unfortunately, I can't flip that tire around. You can see the panel gaps are pretty nicely tight, you know, because this is a plastic body. And then the door handle actually sticks out, so that's nice in both events. Uh, so that's cool. It's got stubby mirrors, the grill there, yeah, grill, different cross hatch pattern here, some fog lights. Um, yeah, the Chrysler logo here. So this black tab is the base. So there's a tab and just one screw to keep costs down. Again, it's a freebie. Oh, this one has a sunroof. Yeah, very nice. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And so there's a Dodge Ram pickup truck, actually. And it looks like a late 2000 model. So it's got the same wheels as the PT Cruiser. This one here, we have the fuel filler door. The door handles again sticking out. Stubby. Oh, these mirrors actually stick out a lot more. And then a nice grill texture. The RAM badge, very cool. Some grooves here in the, these, uh, whatever, air ducts down there. And the fog light, I don't know if that's supposed to be a fog light or a turn signal. I guess that's a turn signal. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> fingerprints are pretty rough on this one. Oh, look at that, that's a mirror. That is a definite mirror, that windshield, now that I wiped it off. Very, very cool. So we have the extra cab, apparently. And then we have the side storage there, and we have nice ribbing in the, in the tail. Oh, but yeah, the, the back glass isn't recessed, but you can definitely see the mirror effect. Nice badge, dual exhaust with some recesses in the pipes. So very cool, very nice again. And it looks a little gappy as it should on a truck. Okay. This one, I believe, is a 1947 Town and Country. So even picked up on it the theme it seems like these are all Chrysler Dodge Chrysler Plymouth uh, I think those are the three brands in history they're all part of the Chrysler group 
So it's interesting and cool, I think, that they went back so far to 1947. So now we're back to hubcap wheels and uh, this is a funky, funky car. I probably should have pulled up an image of the real one. Anyways, we have an egg crate uh, grill here. And then uh, what else we have? A little chrome. Well, on a real car, that'd probably be like a chrome accent on the hood. Uh, yeah, some trim, you know, sticking out of the body. And I'm not sure why there's a recess here, though. But there is. The door handle, I'm not sure. I guess it's that right there. And then there's a tiny bump for the lock. There's a tab for the uh, back again, doubling as a license plate. Maybe a light or something above the license plate. I'm not sure what this would be. Maybe that's a backup light on the real one. <laughs> Tail lights there, and then a tiny window for the back window. All right. So this one is a 1935 Chrysler Airflow. So this is the oldest car, I guess, in this lineup. At least the ones I have. So yeah, we got the uh, hubcap wheels again, nice panel gaps. We have suicide rear doors based on the door handles. That's cool, the little wheel cover has this like logo on it. Uh, it's probably a bent there. Going to the front, yeah, we got these bulbous uh, headlamps, and the grill, this accent there, bumperettes. Uh, some hatches, I guess, to let air into the cabin, a big open sunroof kind of thing. And then the back, we have that tab again on the base down, tail lights, a fuel filler door, bumperettes again, and a split rear window. Yeah, it's really a real shame that uh, these aren't realistically colored, but it's Wanda Gold Coffee, so that's probably why these are gold colored toys. Uh, yeah, I can see how they staggered that. So where's the one with an equal wheel distance? Oh, I see. So the base is definitely the same. It's just they're using different width axles, uh, different motor axle widths to uh, make it fit. Maybe that's better. Yeah. Okay. I think I might like this the most, even though I owned a PT Cruiser. Oh, no, I'm mistaken. I'm probably like this the most. This is a Chrysler 300C, I believe, from the, like the 2009 era. basically, you know, the Chrysler 300 that looks like a Bentley. So big, big, big egg crate grill there, some fog lights, uh, brake ducts. Yeah. Alright, uh, stubby mirrors, tight gaps here, handles are sticking out again. It's got those wheels, uh, yeah, the Chrysler badge there, uh, dual exhaust, pretty big exhaust with recesses. Uh, no sunroof on this one. Okay. Yeah, uh, I just like this car in real life and all other forms. This generation of 300. <laughs> yeah, very shiny. Okay. Well, let me get these things spinning. We'll take a look at some other less shiny ones. Alright, uh, let's see. Choro Q has this old Corvette. This is really a long deformation though, but I like the wheel, the tires on this. They literally say Dunlop. This is from between 1980 to 85. It's strange they wouldn't have a specific year, but uh, that's just the way they did it way back in the day. You can just see it's huge compared to this uh, Wanda brand. Again, the Wandas are free though, so I mean, I, I think it's nice they even give them out at all. Unfortunately, this brand doesn't care to put them on the bottom but this is a Chevy step, step side pickup truck I think it's Kieran fire that's why it literally has fire flames on it so Kieran has a different competing brand of coffees and here actually I have two more so this is what now this is a 63 Impala let's put it up here and this is a 82 Corvette so you can see I put these Corvettes next to each other. The Kieran and these Wandas are pretty much the same, like cartoon style, same size. Whereas this old Choro Q is definitely huge. Now again, I I assume this would be Kieran. It's possible this could be Suntory. I don't think Suntory labels the bottom of their models either, but we 
you can clearly see it's an old Cadillac, so I'll put that kind of over here. Actually, 33 Cadillac. This is a 35 Airflow. These cars would have been chopped around, I guess. They're only two years apart. And then here's another cool one. This is a 67 Caddy. I don't know what kind of Caddy. Maybe it's an Eldorado. I'm not sure. Alright, let's get this out. And then uh, two other brands are going to pop up here. Let's get this pickup truck out. So Kinspawn, you can buy these right now off uh, Express. Or I bought this as a gift shop. These are just... I'm pretty sure like any dollar store they would sell these kind of things. But you can see it's just massive. It's even bigger than that Choro Q I popped up there. And naturally we all know Hot Wheels. So that's for you, Asada, Chevy. Pretty neat. I added a bunch of paint details and swapped out the wheels. So unfortunately, uh, Kinsfun, Hot Wheels, Choro Qs, they're, they're just too big to sit in the same cartoon universe. Which is odd, really odd to say, right? They're, it's, they're all cartoons, so none of them are real. But if you want to try to keep it real, I would stick to uh, you know, Kieran, and possibly if this is Suntory, maybe that's maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. I can't remember everything I review. You can look at it, look them up yourself if you want. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, I think these are cool. Naturally, I just wish they were just painted normally. Hopefully, they'll go back. If they actually do put these out in normal colors, I might, I'll might probably buy them again. Because these things are really cheap. So, you can just search online for them. Because they were free to whoever drank these cans of coffee. Alright, well, thank you for watching today. I'll see you in the next Super Deformed video. Hopefully, less shiny.